Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. So many of you know that I was doing a 30 day fruit art challenge and if you haven't checked it out, you can still participate. I'll link it up here. A personal goal of mine while doing that challenge was to get more practice in pattern design and eventually add my artwork to some merch. Although I haven't completely finished the challenge yet, I have started to add my fruit patterns and previous artwork to some sites. So you can now browse and purchase stickers, prints, notebooks, phone cases, and many other products with my artwork on it. As someone who loves making print patterns, I get a thrill out of seeing my artwork on everyday things, but it's also there in case you want a piece of my artwork for yourself and you want to help support my channel. I'm testing out three main print on demand sites. They all have different items for sale and I'll gradually add more artwork to them, so follow me or heart my shop for updates. Personally, I found Redbubble to be the easiest to upload and manage artwork. You can browse the different categories or explore the designs first and then pick one you like to see all the products that it's on. If you're really into stickers, Redbubble makes really good quality ones and they also have transparent ones which I haven't seen on the other sites. Something else I've only seen on this site is a hardcover journal option, which you may have seen in a previous video. I have purchased a couple of these and I do like them. And a new addition, masks. Now these aren't medical grade, but as you guys know during these times, any kind of covering helps, and I'm just happy to see that they are on the site. I did just purchase the cheetah pattern mask, and when it arrives, I'll let you guys know how I like it. Moving on to Society6, one of my favorite items in my shop is the wrapping paper. It comes at a pretty good price, and it's actually thick enough for paper projects like bookbinding, and I like the helpful grid on the back, which makes it easier for cutting. Society6 also carries some of the same other items that you'll see on the other sites, but I feel like they have more homeware items and gift ideas. And I did just get this notice that they will be carrying face masks sometime this month, and it looks like their mask will be a different design than Redbubble. It looks like a pleated construction, so at least you have some variety to choose from. Now onto Teespring, this is actually the only shop I've been able to integrate into my videos because they have a partnership with YouTube. And you may have already seen this in the shelf below my videos. They do have some of the same but also less product options, but I do like that I can make all over pattern shirts. For some reason, their site has been a little bit difficult for me to upload to lately, maybe it has too much traffic, so check back soon to see more design options. And please note, due to the COVID-19, all of these shops are experiencing production delays and may take longer to ship your orders. FYI, in case you're not familiar with these kind of sites, unlike my Etsy shop and Patreon rewards, these items don't come directly from me. They handle all the production, the process of shipping, and the customer service and returns, all of that. And because of that, I only get about 20% of the sales, but I am okay with that because that's a lot of work and it takes a lot of that work off my plate. All of these sites have their pros and cons, which is why I couldn't pick just one. So if you guys have any experience or feedback, I would love to read it in the comments. I did order a few of my own things, they just haven't arrived yet, so I couldn't show you what they look like in person. Obviously, I can't buy all of my own stuff to test out, so if you do end up purchasing any of my stuff through these sites, please DM me, tag me, and let me know how the quality is. Given the recent events and what's going on in the country right now, I want to donate in some way, and the best I know how to do that is through my art. So through the month of June this month, any purchases or profits made of my artwork through these sites will go directly to black causes. I'm also doing the same thing in my Etsy shop. Any profits from my doodle book downloads this month will be donated. And to really go all out, I'm trying to make this video at least 10 minutes long, so YouTube will allow me to put more ads on it. Then I will donate all the ad revenue from this video. For the rest of our time here, you can relax and watch some of my art process. I've included some time lapses. You can rewatch this video, share it to increase the ad revenue, and I encourage you to check out the links in the description below for more ways on how you can help black lives.